Hi everyone, I uh, just wanted to do a video today, uh, it's going to be talking about new light again. Um, I had something, I was sat in the garden uh, today, I have to show this view, I can see it behind me. Uh, turn around and show you. Show you that. Oh, you see it very well. The camera's not, it's not reverse, so yeah, anyway. Um, this morning, I sat in the garden, uh, I was trying to do some meditation, it wasn't going too well. But um, I got my new mine out, just, I've just been working with them recently, and it's holding it and looking at it, and I was thinking, I should maybe do some uh, write up about this. and wasn't until I started writing about the the uh, crystal itself and what I've learned from it and what I've what I've got from it, which I didn't really know that I was connected to it. But I think the stone is the name should be changed from from what it is. I think it should be called Stone of Creation uh, because of when it was formed. It was formed over 3.8 billion years ago. So. I think it should be renamed the Stone of Creation because of that, and it does help you with creativity. Uh, it's very much a creative stone, so it was formed obviously a long, long time ago, and I was able to write a three-page, um, almost like an essay, on the Newmite Stone. And I was like really pleased. I thought. I think I've actually finally connected with a stone that's really good and that, that I can relate to because it is mysterious and I can kind of find, find myself in a sort of like a, a mysterious uh, way anyway. But yeah, it, it's such a, a great stone and I don't think many people talk about it. It's not a stone that is talked about enough. Um, yeah, it, it, some of the things that I found which were which connected to the stone with its creativity is one especially uh, intuition very much for your int intuition it's a stone of you know, connection to you, your higher self uh, uh, what else can I say oh, it's, there's so many things you know oh, uh, it gives you the confidence and, uh, and comfort in your in, in different surroundings like uh, when I used to come with this, this is Hubbard's Hills in Lincolnshire, uh, and I never used to like coming up here very much. I used to come up here, not really look. Well, I used to look, but not really look at it as much. But since I've been working with crystals, I've been more, you know, I've wanted to come out more and want to connect, you know, want to go out walking more. Whereas before, I just used to like staying at home, sitting, watching TV, and then that was it. But, um, since we work with crystals, especially this new one, it has. Um, you know, supports that. Yeah, sorry about that. There's someone walking past. Uh, yeah, ever since I've been working with the new mite, the new mite especially, uh, it has helped me with creativity more. Uh, uh, I think the concentration it helps with as well. So, uh, Definitely creativity, conf conf concentration, uh, confidence. Um, Self exploration. It's it's got so many. I mean, I could go on forever about it. I mean, lots of people talk about uh, moldavite being a really powerful stone. But I held a moldavite. Uh, not to say that it hasn't got power. Obviously, it has got a lot of power. But um, I held a moldavite. Didn't really get too much from it. But obviously, it's something you can you have to work with over time. For some people to connect to, but like with, with the new mine, I've had it for about a year now. And since I've had just been working with one soul crystal, I has you know, because before I used to have several crystals on me, because I've connected just with one crystal, I was able to connect better with it, and I'm able to see um, what is what I get from it. But let's say it's like it's like um, I was having a conversation. It's like um, uh, oh, what's the word? It's like sitting in a room and having lots of people talking to you. You can't concentrate on everyone speaking. You can pinpoint one person. You can't. You can't. Um, someone else coming in the corner. Uh, you can't pinpoint or listen to everyone at once. 
So I think um, a lot of people may disagree, but I think working with one crystal at a time is beneficial. And then, then you can maybe work on working with combinations after you've worked with a certain crystal. Then you can work with other crystals to um, complement it and maybe add something else. But anyway, um, I'll just show you a quick view of the background again because I think I've finished what I'm going to say. I don't know if you can see this at all. I can't reverse the camera. Anyway, this is where I come to to do the video. I thought, oh, I thought change the view. So I normally do um, somewhere else. The second lot of paper gone away. It does happen, like Mark, Mark Lejewski says, when you start filming, you get all these people wanting to come around and uh, get involved. <laughs> or come and see what you're doing. Uh, yeah, anyway, that's my little video. I just, I just wanted to share it you know, with it's just some insights on my intuition that I've collected just from this morning, just by sitting, just holding the stone. And like I say, I didn't think I was ever, I didn't think I was truly connecting before I just thought that you know, thought I had to do something and you didn't have to do anything. It's like Mark says, you just let you, know, you don't think of anything and you don't uh, expect anything. And without me realizing, it's like I'm, this video is basically like a realization of what the, what I've experienced and th things that this crystal has done to help me out. Um, I would never been able to write a, a video. Uh, not write a video, write a video. No. I would never be able to uh, do a, uh, what's it called? I would never be able to write an essay, so it's just being, I'm just going to pause again. Yeah, I think I'm going to walk, I think I'm going to walk. I'll carry on with the video. Anyway, yeah, no, I'll just stop again. Right, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so getting back to uh, crystals and that, yeah, I think you have to, to experience one crystal at a time, and, you know, if, especially if you're, uh, beginning to work with crystals, you know, maybe try to try one particular one that you're really drawn to, or you know, yeah, basically one that you're really drawn to, and work with that. See what you get from it. And if you don't feel as if you get anything from it, then possibly move on to the next crystal. I think that's what I did. I uh, didn't go off. I, I, I first started off going on on people's uh, recommendations and what have you, and watch videos and that. I think I found that um, if you just pick a chip, pick a crystal for yourself, or pick one that you're drawn to, and then work with that. Yeah. So, so I hope that you like my little video I've done, and uh, I'll must be doing another video again sometime. All right. Thank you.